it's exactly one year from now that we started to work on this project. And it was called uh, Musical Merzbo at first. And then we changed it to Studio Venezia because the show will be traveling in other cities, in other venues after that. But the idea uh, kept the same, so it's very similar from the original project, which is to uh, make a kind of an architecture or sculpture installation that will completely change the perception of the inside of, of the pavilion, but that will also host uh, many musicians to uh, record their music. Uh, so the architecture is based on uh, older 70s recording studios that I kind of uh, adapt into a more sculptural form. So the idea is to have the people entering a space and looking at musicians, but not playing like on stage or like a concert, but it's more like they're working on the music. So it's the idea of the studio, both the studio of the artist and the studio of the musician, like the place where you create things. So the invitation to the public of the Biennale is more to catch, if they are lucky, a very fragile moment of music that is uh, normally not to be seen or not to be heard. The idea is not to make something new, but to have a new approach because it's about recording. So the musicians that are taking part to this experience will be able to leave the space with their own hard disk and they can do whatever they want with the created music. The goal is not to represent every music. It's, it's still a very arbitrary selection and it's quite radical. And uh, it's at the end of the day, uh, without planning it in advance, it's more a... Um, interests that uh, musicians share on the quality of the sound, the sound as a first raw material, and also a certain curiosity in terms of music. So there is a baroque music, classic music, uh, folklore, so there is very different uh, type of music. We have a very important support of Nigel Godrich, who is the producer for Radiohead, and who provides us the studio, so the studio equipment, which is really amazing. To me, music is a little bit like uh, architecture, uh, but on the, in another direction. Uh, architecture will be about space, music is about time and duration and brings in duration into uh, visual art. So I'm very interested also in the way that uh, music can move you physically because there is always this uh, artificial uh, split between what people thinking and uh, what they, they do feel like the feeling should be something physical. So music is a way to activate this part of art that is very physical. <laughs>